Yo, Bo, happy Eclipse Day 2024. Everyone is uh, having fun with the eclipse today. I, I think it's already I think it's already passed. And I know uh, around uh, you know two thirty. I, I guess it was more three o'clock. It started getting a bit dark, but it's also it was also a little cloudy here at the same time. So I don't have those special eclipse viewing glasses, so I didn't necessarily look at it. But you know I've seen enough pictures of it and. Uh, so that's a cool thing. We've had some some uh, interesting events here over the past uh, uh, weekend or so. We had that that minor earthquake in New Jersey, four point eight. I didn't feel it, although I was kind of close to New Jersey at the time because I was at the uh, I was at the clubhouse store at the ballpark picking up the new City Connect Phillies gear, um, which debuted or, or was unveiled. Um, uh, at that time, I uh, did pick up a few things. I'll share them with you, the viewer here. I also have an um, unboxing from Toppers USA. And I have another hat that actually coincides a bit with this one. So, But let's, uh, let's get to the unboxing first. And shout out, as always, to Toppers USA. This one is a hat that actually uh, came out uh, originally a little bit back. It sold out. And they did a, um, you know, basically a, a redo, uh, gave like another, a second chance or what have you. You know, they had a, um, a smaller quantity, I guess it would be, released of it. So, um, was able to jump on it once I knew it was there. Um, and as all... <laughs> Oh wow, this is a he's actually wearing a throwback, like a turn back the clock jersey. As, I, as always with, with toppers, you get the card, the baseball card, so as you can see, a little turn back the clock action right there for Mike Remlinger. I believe what was he a manager too? I I, I know the name is like uh is familiar. But um so he's on the Giants, but actually they're wearing the throwback. The way throwback from the Jubilee, the Golden Jubilee, New York uh, Giants uniform there. So shout out to Bay Area and Rez. There's a little Giants action for you guys. Um, and the hat of choice I went with was the uh, one of the minor league affiliates to the Phillies. I guess it would be like low A ball. Um, but the Phillies actually play in their stadium every year for uh, spring training. So we got the, the Clearwater, or as we say here in Philly, the, the Clearwater uh, Threshers right there. Nice logo right there, of course, with the, with the Thresher Shark going for the ball. And it has the 30th on the side, 30th Annie, tonal new era flag, the flat uh, batterman on the back. Good gray under, white gut. Pretty cool hat. Um, you know, minor league hats have become a big thing. I mean, they, they, they you know, a, a good amount of them will sell out pretty quick, you know. And, and this was one of those that uh, when it was originally um, available, it sold out pretty quick. So kind of got a second chance. And, and that's why I like, you know, Toppers USA because they will do everything in their power to make sure you can get the hat eventually, even if you don't get it on the first try. They do, like, shock drops. They'll do, like, um, uh, pre-orders. They'll do different stuff, or they'll bring it back in more of a limited quantity, but they'll bring it back, you know, for another, like, a second chance at it. And, um, you know, it's cool that they do that because, you know, we, we, we do enjoy... We do earn, we do enjoy our hats and but but we do like to get the hat and sometimes as we know they're very difficult to get uh, right away off that first you know uh, uh, run of them so you know Toppers USA does do their best to make sure you know we're able to get them eventually so very nice very nice uh, uh, overall hat the tonal blue going all the way around very cool so there it is. And this, this was a, uh, uh, this was a, I want to say this was a Poshmark pickup. And this is a slightly older Clearwater Thresher's hat. It has that older logo 
but some of the Phillies greats have have in more recent time have worn this hat. Uh, you know, while they were at uh, they were they were down there in, in Clearwater. Uh, there's the Batterman. This would be an on-field fitted 5950. Um, I believe it's got that tonal. It's kind of hard to see in the light, but yeah, the tonal tonal blue for the for the brim. And the black gut on the inside, and New Era flag on the side. Like I said, this is a hat that they wore a bit back as they're on field fitted, and it's one that you don't see very often. Uh, it does have kind of that two tone going, so it's almost like at the time the Phillies when they wore their their uh, interleague hat, which was a two tone, you know, uh, red red dome with the blue brim and, and and squatchy with the with the P with the star in the middle. So that was their interleague hat at the time. So this is kind of reminiscent of that hat, but uh, very cool. So there you see the logos certainly have changed over the years, but, you know, still very cool uh, kind of vintage, you know, hat to get. Um, so that is it for those. But I do have one other hat to share, but it does go with the City Connect for the Phillies. And again, this was just debuted this past Friday. I went over to the uh, to the uh, to the clubhouse store. I went out to the ballpark to pick this up because it was a it was a not only a jersey event but it was a Philly jersey event, and like it was for the Kelly Greens when the Eagles, you know, made those available for purchase for the first time uh, last summer. I'm like I have to get to this <laughs> because it wouldn't be me if I if I didn't do this right. So I did. I, I went to the launch and. Uh, you know, uh, overall, uh, I liked it more so than when that that leaked image of the of the uh, the Zach Wheeler jersey came out of it, and I just said, "What in the world is this?" As most us Phillies fans did, and you know, seeing it in person, um, I, I, I'll say this: I I, I wasn't. Uh, turned off by it. Obviously, I was going to get it. I mean, no matter what, because I get jersey. You know, I get all the jersey, whatever the new jersey is for a Philly team. I pick it up, right? But um, I wasn't. Uh, I, I didn't think they were terrible, and I, I, I don't think they're great. I don't think they're terrible. I think it's a. It, I think it's a decent jersey. I think it. Uh, the the purpose for the city connect in a way was met I would have gone in other directions than what they did but it is what it is right I think I, I I read up on the reasoning why they did what they did I still don't quite get the font I I, I still think it would look, look better without the Philly on the front of it but um you know it is what it is um you know people are going to love them or hate them the Phillies are going to be wearing these every Friday home game and starting this this Friday, this coming Friday against Pittsburgh, and then I'll be at the game, weather permitting, the following Friday against uh, Lucas White Sox. So I'll be able to see these in person for that game. And I guess you all know what jersey I'll be wearing for that one. So here it is. Uh, the blue and yellow represents the, the, uh, the Philly flag colors. And there's other aspects of this jersey, which is why they did it. I'm forgetting on some of it. But the grittiness of the city, the... You know the, the 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 Liberty Bell with the crack. You know there's crack elements in the word font representing the crack in the bell. Um, there's some other aspects about this jersey that you know that the patch on the sleeve, like we wear our heart on the sleeve, so love. You know, and of course the love statue. Um, it does have also baseball seams on the inside. If you can kind of see them, it's I know it's a dark kind of logo, but so that's actually supposed to be like a baseball. Um, it is, it does have the, uh, um, it, it does have the, the, you know, it goes from light to blue to, 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 to dark blue. So it has that kind of contrast going down the Jersey and the pants are going to be a dark blue. So a gradient, I should say from light to dark, which is cool. I mean, in, in person, I think it's a nice Jersey. I think if you see this, like in this video, or maybe even on the TV screen or your computer screen or phone, whatever. It, I don't think it's going to do it great justice. This is a jersey I really think you have to see in person to kind of have maybe more of an appreciation for. Um, 
It's also got the Philadelphia on the inside collar. And it's a blue collar because it's a blue collar city. So that's the significance of this. It also does have the uh, the Phillies logo on the on the bottom near the jock tag. Of course, the Nike swoosh is on the front as well. Give you another look at that logo. I really like this logo. I mean, I think that popped even when I saw it on the on the Wheeler jersey when it first kind of leaked. I, I like that aspect of it. Then we go to the back. You have it's a Bryce Harper. Of course, I went with Harper. Uh, Harper three on the back there, the Batterman. Um, yeah, and it's got the the border, the yellow border going around the sleeves. Um, like I said, some of these look better than others. The Trey Turner one looks <laughs> probably the most ridiculous of all because the seven looks like a question mark just for the font they chose the, for this. But um, you know, it is what it is. Again, I think these are jerseys that over time might grow on people. Um, the initial shock value. <laughs> when you think of what the Phillies usually wear, is certainly there <laughs> when you see these at first. But you know, like I said, I I, I I don't I don't hate this. I don't love it, but I think over time I'm going to appreciate it as I think most of us will a little more, particularly when we see them on the field, because that's the way it is with these City Connect jerseys. Sometimes I'll see the City Connect jersey like the initial launch of it, and I'll be like. I don't know about that one. And then you see them wearing them on the field, and it's like, oh, okay, that actually looks better than I thought, you know? Uh, and it does have the hat. The hat, I think, is the best aspect of it. I really like the hat, and I went with the I went with the flex fit because I usually do. At some point, I'll get the regular 5950 on field. But there's the hat. I really like just that color. It's a it's a navy blue hat. It's got the, 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 the light blue going down to the navy blue bell with the city. Um you know, the skyline there, it's got the two stars, which is in the Phillies logo, but also reminiscent of their old batting practice hat, where they wore it back in, the, I guess, in the 90s or early 2000s when it had the, the P with the two stars on either side. So it's a little homage of a hat that they wore, you know, years and years ago. It does have the New Era logo. And because it's a flex fit, it doesn't have the batterman in the back, it just has that Philly. And I got a little pin, and I got a little pin to put on there with the logo I like. Um, on the under brim, it does say Philly. Um, I don't know how well it's going to, or I'm sorry, it says love. You can see with the Liberty Bell as the O. Um, so that's kind of cool. There's also on the, on the regular, uh, um, on-field fitted, there's a, there's like a, uh, a design going around the inside of the, uh, of the, of the hat. Um, of the band of the hat, which, again, probably is one of the reasons, another reason why I'll grab the actual on-field fitted at some point. But, yeah, and this hat is really, I mean, a lot of people really like the hat, so, you know, I think they really hit it out of the park with the hat. The jersey, I think, is still, I think I called it, like, a solid double. <laughs> but, um, again, you know, it, 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 it's our jersey, so, you know, the, the thing that's probably going to happen is, all these people from outside of Philly are going to hate on the jersey and we're going to love it more because of it. Like, like it was with Gritty those many years <laughs> when the Flyers debuted gr Gritty. Uh, at first, it was he was panned by the Philly fans and then when everyone else started panning, I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, that, he's ours. <laughs> so this might have the same kind of deal with it. But overall, I mean, it, it's a... It's a decent jersey. Could they have done something else with it? Yeah, could it have been done? Could they have done different aspects of Philly with this? Yeah, and, and you know, it, it is what it is, though. Um, you know, in person, I don't think it's a terrible jersey. And I, I, I still want to see it on the field. You know, I still want to see them wear it on the field. And maybe we'll have a little more appreciation. Or maybe not. <laughs> you know, we'll see. It might be one of those deals, you know. But, um... There it is. It's definitely been an action-packed weekend here. Obviously, we had the debut of the City Connect uniforms on uh, uniform on uh, on Friday. We had earthquake on Friday, a 4.8 in New Jersey, which I didn't feel when I was in the store. <laughs> there were so many people in there too. It was like you're like, did you feel the earthquake? I'm like, no. <laughs> we had an earthquake. I thought it was a joke at first, but apparently, you know, obviously it wasn't. 
Um, and uh, we, I, you know, of course, WrestleMania 40 was in town this this weekend. I didn't go. I'm I'm not a wrestling guy. I I do have friends who are. One of them stayed over. So shout out to Big John. We weren't able to film. I I I thought we would film a video this week. It just didn't happen. You know, he was busy. He 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 went to WrestleCon. Uh, all three days, and, you know, it, it tuckered him out, and I, I was kind of tired myself this weekend, but we had a really good time, uh, we, we enjoyed the weekend, uh, uh, my, my, my other buddy, Mark M, Mark, Mark M, we got together, we went to Olive Garden one night, uh, I took, I took John to, to Lee's, so he had the Lee's experience, and, um, you know, so Lee's Hoagies, of course, and, uh, you know, so we we had a really good time. It, I, I was glad that everything worked out, and he had he had a ball. I mean, he really did. He met so many uh, uh, wrestlers at WrestleCon and and some of his buddies, wrestling buddies and such. So he had a great time, and I was happy that things worked out for him. And you know, when he was when when he got the tickets for it, he, he asked if he could stay here, and I said absolutely. So, you know, he was able to stay here, and um, you know, it's always nice to have a friend around. You know, so. Um, but, but that was basically the weekend. It was pretty action packed. Um, and, and then today you had the, you had the eclipse outside. So, I mean, like I said, it, it's been so much going on in such a small period of time. Um, it's pretty incredible, but, um, anyhow, I, I, I guess that's about it. We'll keep this video a little short and sweet. Usually I don't, but this one... <laughs> I think we can keep kind of short and sweet. So you saw the Philly, uh, the City Connect for the Phillies. Um, I price and, and that, by the way, is the replica version. They did have the All Thanks. The All Thanks are like four hundred bucks. It's just no, no. It's basically, I mean, aesthetically, if I put them far away, it, it's basically the same jersey. I know the authentic is more authentic with the material and whatnot. But four hundred, that's not going to happen. So usually, I get the the replica of all the city connects that I get. So of course the Phillies was going to be the same. Um, but if I can ever get like, you know, from the, the authentic stand, maybe next season or something, if they have some no name, you know, player or some relief pitcher or something, their Jersey, maybe under 400 bucks, you know, maybe I'll grab one. Never say never. Right. So we'll see what the future brings on that. Um, but overall, I think, like I said, it, it, it's a Jersey that I don't hate as I thought I would when I first saw the, that leaked Wheeler uh, jersey of it. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's still one that's going to take a little time to get used to, but we have to remember it's, a, it's, an, it's an alternate jersey. You know, This is not one they're going to wear very often, only every Friday home game this season. And I would imagine maybe into next season too, but we'll see. Uh, but the Phillies were the first to unveil their City Connect this season. There's other teams that will do it as the season goes on. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what these other teams do. Um, you know, it's it, it you know it makes it kind of exciting. You know, when you have unveils of different jerseys and such, particularly for a jersey collector like me, it's like oh, it's, there's more uh, there's more uh, 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 toys in the shed there, huh? <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. Um, there's still ones from years ago that I have to add to the collection at some point, but. Um, but so, anyway, I, I had a ball. I, I really did. It was it was a lot of fun being there with other fans, and you know, got to you know shake hands or or fist bump with people that I know, and um, it was it was great to see people there. I know I got interviewed by Crossing Broad, yeah, <laughs> was interesting, um, and I, I also got interviewed by uh, KYW, the local uh, one of the news uh, radio stations. I tried to hear it, you know, later. I never did hear it, so. You know, it's probably out there somewhere, but <laughs> um, at any rate, I think that's going to do it for me um, for this video. But uh, thanks, as always, for all the continued support to the channel. The, uh, the, the, the journey to, two th to 2K uh, subs, right? We're at 1.6 at this point on, uh, what's the April 8th of 2024. Um, be cool if I can get, uh, 2K before the end of the year, if not, certainly by, by next year. Um, it's a very humbling thing. It, it, it just is, you know, I've, I've been on YouTube here since 09, so it's quite a long time, but you know, to, to, to have that many viewers and that many subs, I should say, 
is an humbling thing. So thank you all to to all the 1.6 subs, uh, 1.6k subs. You know, again, we're, we're we're striving for 2,000 and beyond. So you know, if you haven't already done so, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you also hit the like button as many times as we can. Let's hit that like button, like 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 right, and hit the bell icon. You know, speaking of speak, hit the Hit the bell icon so you're constantly uh, uh, in in the loop for new videos and content from yours truly, and it's always uh, it's always appreciated as I said. So that's gonna do it for me for now. But I uh, hope everything's going well for everyone. Hope you all enjoyed the eclipse today, and uh, <laughs> that's gonna do it for me for now on Eclipse Day 2024. This is Mighty Fan signing off. I'll see you in the next one.